Hello everyone, welcome back to Luke's TV Talk. We'll go over some of the most recent TV episodes I've been watching. And for this episode, I'll be looking at episodes 7 and 8 of Andor. But just before I get into that, I upload a review for The Conjuring 2. So if you're interested, go give that a watch. And also make sure to like, subscribe to keep up to date with all future uploads. Okay, so last week I didn't upload a review for Andor. So I thought I'd combine it and do a quick review for episode 7. And then jump into a full look at episode 8 with the plot and everything. Okay, so let's jump into my quick thoughts on episode 7. Khan gets a new job at the Bureau of Standards. During a meeting, Miro makes a convincing argument and is given control of Ferex. So she's talking about how she knows that Rebellion's taking full control now and she needs to get control of this area, otherwise it's just going to get worse and worse. To tie up loose ends, Vel is told to find and kill Andor. So basically... Luthen realises that Andor is a loose end and he could end up giving away information on him and the, the cause. So he's treating Andor like a loose end and needs to be sorted now. Mon Mothma meets with an old friend, Colma, to help her move her money. Asian returns to Ferex but finds out it's under strict Imperial control. So basically ever since he left, everyone's thinking it's Cassian's fault that all these Imperial soldiers are here now and they are pretty much under the thumb of the Empire and Cassian is basically you know rocking a hard place. People don't want to help him and the Empire's looking for him so he's gotta get out of there now. He also tries to convince Marva to leave, but she wants to stay and covertly oppose the Empire. So she's been a rebel this whole time, fighting against the Empire, and she wants to just stay in her home and do what she can from there. Cassian then travels to a tourist planet, Nemos but is confronted by troopers and framed for minor crimes and sentenced to six years. So he's just gone on holiday to try and get away from everything and the Empire is obviously everywhere. So he's basically found treated like a criminal because he was near some people and just thrown in jail. And he's like, what is going on? So this was a crazy episode because it's basically looking at all the aftermath of what's happened since the heist went and basically Andor can't do anything because he is being treated like scum and villainy by the Empire and everyone treating him like it's his fault that Ferex is now under Imperial control. Khan's life is boring but he's still obsessed with Cassian so he's trying to do everything he can even in his little bureaucratic job he still wants to find him. Miru is starting to move up so she's obviously giving evidence and everyone's starting to believe her and that the rebellion is starting to move up so she's getting a bit more power now. Luthen is ruthless trying to eliminate Cassian so I'm really surprised that Luthen literally just wants to kill Cassian because I knew he used him for his own means. But I thought he might keep him around to use for other missions or anything. But no, he just wants to kill him outright and get rid of him. So I guess he's like leftover evidence. Mon Mothma is desperate. So she's trying to find any allies at this point. And her friend Colma is basically one of the last chances she can find. Cassian feels lost and alone. So the Empire's after him. His mother won't go with him. All of his friends like Bix aren't helping him. He's basically on his own and he's now in prison as well. So he is not having a good time. And the Empire is evil as ever. So they're treating everyone like criminals and it's just no good for anyone. And I don't know why anyone would even remotely sympathise with them. Okay, so that's my quick thoughts on episode 7. So let's jump to the plot of episode 8 of Andor. Khan is taken in for questioning after putting in multiple reports to try and find Andor. And even Miro becomes interested in what he knows. Miro takes all her information to the Bureau Council. So she's talking about how, oh yeah, the rebellion started to take this, they took this. We need to get our boots on the ground and make sure we have ears listening into everyone. Cassian arrives on a labour prison to work for the Empire. They use a weapon in the floor that can shock prisoners when they're barefoot and all the guards have to wear special boots. Cassian is put into a group and made to put together Imperial tech and are shocked if they aren't quick enough. So they're basically put into little round tables and made to make these like satellite kind of techie bits over and over and over again. They do nothing different, they do the same thing day in and day out. We get a surprise appearance from Andy Circus as the prison floor manager. So he's another prisoner, but he's like the manager of everyone. So that was cool to see him pop up. Mom Mothma continues her talk with Colma, but things are difficult. So they're trying to move money about and Mom Mothma wants to use her money in her savings but just can't move it because the empire is watching everything even the prison cells are shocked if prisoners leave during rest so there's lights on the floor when they're white it's safe when it's red you'll get 
literally, as I said, fried, and you will pretty much just die. Cassian spends a month in the prison, so we watch him do his daily routine, and then it says 30 shifts later, so I'm guessing it's a month has gone by. A lot of prisoners treat you like a competition, so it seems like characters like Andy Circus, he's been in the the longest because he's obviously the manager so he's been there long he kind of treats it like a competition to see who can get the best amount done who's going to get the flavor in their food and they i guess to keep them sane they treat it like a competition bix is trying to look after marva so marva is trying to do her best as a little rebel section in the town but she obviously because she's an old lady at this point but she's trying her best and bix is trying to look after her as well Vel is on Ferrix, keeping watch for Cassian, so she's pretty much just making sure that whenever Cassian does arrive, she'll just kill him. But I think she's going to be waiting there a long time, because if Cassian's going to be in the prison for six years, she will be staying for a bit longer. Bix tries to contact Luthen, but he cuts contact to keep exposure minimal, so Luthen realises that he needs to find Cassian, but if he contacts Bix, that could expose them. They're going to have to cut contact for now. One of the prisoners kills themselves on the shop during the night so obviously not all the prisoners are treating it like a competition and some obviously can't take it anymore so purposely just jump onto the shop floor and kill themselves which is heartbreaking one of bix allies is captured and questions and then bix is then eventually captured and questioned by miro so we don't know what they're asking them i imagine it's to do oh do you know the rebels how do you know cassian and stuff like that but we don't know yet luthen meets with saw guerrera but they aren't completely friendly, so they're obviously on the same side trying to fight the Empire, but they clearly have a tough relationship and aren't the best of friends. And then we get the final shot of Cassian still stuck making Imperial Tech, so I don't know how long he's going to be in there, but I imagine it's going to be for a while. So this was a cool episode, we get to see Cassian in a tough spot, and it's going to be cool to see how he gets out of it, and then we get to see all the other characters trying to live with the Empire, or make the empire even better so khan is hyper focused on finding cassian even the empire is getting annoyed with him so he's trying his best but even the empire's like calm down this isn't your job leave it to us miro's control is widening so she's getting more reach with her control and scope of what she can find so it's gonna be interesting to see where she ends up the prison sucks and the guards are typical assholes pretty much electric shock floor is a horrible thing to have and the guards just don't care, they'll push the prisoners about and treat them like rubbish, so they're just evil. Some prisoners are, have accepted their position, while others seem to be planning something. So, some of the prisoners are just getting along with it, doing their tech rebuild, but some of them we seem to see them like communicating with other prisoners in like sign language, so I don't know what they're going to end up planning in the end. Obviously, I love seeing Andy Circus. he was a nice little surprise to pop up in the episode. The same for Forrest Whitaker as Saw Guerrero, so yeah, a couple of cameos of characters, which was cool. Mon Mothma is trying her best, but she's obviously having difficult moving the money about, so I imagine she's going to find a way in the end. I'm surprised Cassian just accepted the situation, so he's been there, what looks like a month, so I'm interested to see why he just accepted it, but I'm going to be interested to see how he gets out of it in the end, because obviously he's not going to stay there, so it's going to be cool to see what happens. Bix is in a bad spot, so they obviously know she's tried to contact someone. And they're probably not going to be nice in the way they ask about it. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how she gets out of that situation. And then Luthen has his plans but does waver. So he things out and keep things in the green as they would say. But he's having a tough time keeping his morals together I guess. But yeah this was a great episode. I had a good time seeing Cassian in a tough spot. And I'm looking forward to see how he gets out of that. And like Luthen and Saul Guerrero. It's cool to see all these characters interact with each other, and I'm going to love to see how it will culminate in future episodes. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to keep up to date with all future uploads. And until next time, I will see you all later.